Hi, I'm Dr. Tony Salome, and what I'd like to go over today is five crucial steps that you can take today for a successful leaky gut syndrome diet. So before we get into that, before we get into all the steps, I do want to explain what is leaky gut because a lot of people have heard about it but don't really know much about it. But leaky gut is, in a normal gut, we have these tight junctions or TJ, TJ cells. And Normally, they stay closed, or they may open for just like a millisecond. But in leaky gut, what happens is they become open or permeable or leaky. So, for the word. So, what happens is bacteria and other toxins and other substances can get through where they're normally into the bloodstream or they're normally not supposed to. And what happens is this can cause and set off all sorts of inflammatory reactions and cause gastro distension and bloating and headaches and brain fog and just complete misery. So these things can, what happens is when these things become permeable, this is what happens. So there are causes and there are reasons behind that and we'll get into in a minute some of the things that can affect and cause leaky gut. But what I do want to mention is there are a few chemicals that are known to be involved with leaky gut. And one of them is zonulin, occludin, and then lipopolysaccharides. These things, once they're in the bloodstream, they can become an issue. And there are tests that you can do that can identify these and these antibodies against them. That can indicate if you truly do have a leaky gut. So these are some advances with modern science and functional medicine that tests for these things. So, but these are some of the symptoms of leaky gut, food intolerances or allergies, fatigue, abdominal pain, bloating, skin issues, even autoimmune conditions like uh, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, those things can also be involved with leaky gut, rheumatoid arthritis, all these different types of inflammatory autoimmune type of things can be concomitant or go along with leaky gut. So things that can cause it, anything that causes gastrointestinal inflammation, we have in our diet, we are consuming way too many things that are inflammatory. And one of the things that we want to avoid are sugar, gluten, soy, processed foods, dairy, corn, and then all this food dyes, preservatives, different colorings, all these things can really affect MSG that can affect not only the brain, but it can also cause inflammation because of the glutamate that can also affect the gut. So all of these things can really, really cause a lot of issues with our whole immune system. And that can cause those tight junction cells to be permeable or be open or be open for a longer time. And then that ends up becoming a chronic thing. So what the problem with this is that when we start addressing this and we start addressing like say the bacteria or we start addressing all these different substances that may be fine for a while but as long as that they're open as long as that the these intestinal cells are open and permeable we're going to continue to continue to experience these type of agents bacteria toxins chemicals to seep through so we're going to be constantly be battling this and it's a vicious circle and unless we actually close that barrier we're going to continue to have these type of problems but as far as foods that we want to consume, we do want to consume foods that are like rich in vitamin C and flavonoids that are anti-inflammatory. Broccoli is one of them. We also have avocados and salmon. These are good type, good fats. Salmon, of course, is rich in omega-3s. Avocados has magnesium in it and it has potassium in it. These are very good minerals. And then you also have good healthy fats. Coconut oil is excellent also that's not mentioned here, but coconut oil is one of the good things that you can have on a leaky gut diet. It's very helpful, but also coconut oil is much more easily digestible than regular fat. So that can also help with absorption and so on. So these the coconut oil can be very helpful and it's a very good fat in general uh, for the intestines. Um, also, we have blueberries and walnuts. So blueberries is another one of the things that have the flavonoids in it. It also has the uh, different antioxidants and quercetin, which is a very, very 
a powerful anti-inflammatory and immune regulator. So that's the beauty about blueberries. The walnuts have uh, lots of phytonutrients in them, but they also contain omega-3s, which are anti-inflammatory. So all these things can really help with a leaky gut diet. They can help also uh, promote a, an environment where it's not inflamed and the body is at, at bay. We talked about foods that are good for a leaky gut diet and the foods to avoid. Of course, we want to also avoid hydrogenated oils. That's very bad. Um, we don't want to consume those. And also there's supplements that help with leaky gut. And I go more in detail in another video about all the supplements, about each individual one. But I'll give you down the list. L-glutamine, slippery elm, marshmallow root, DGL, butric acid, probiotics, aloe vera, digestive enzymes, and we have collagen and licorice root. So these are all very good for leaky gut. And in another video, I'll talk about how in each individual one is very effective in promoting a healthy gut barrier and that how it can help you overcome your leaky gut. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I wanted to give you a thanks for, for watching in and tuning in. If you like what I have and you like and you want to see more of these videos, please feel free to hit that like button and subscribe button. And please don't forget to hit that notification bell down there. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in again. I'm Dr. Tony Salome, and I want to wish you a great healthy day.